So here I am, up here, alone, by myself. And there you are, in the crowd, watching me. So, I just want to say that you're a darn good looking crowd tonight. You're uh, leaders in business, in education, in technology, and leaders in Tulsa. Every day, you go to work, you go to wherever you're at, and you're surrounded by people. These are the people that you interact with every day. Most of the time, they're the people you work with, people that work for you, people you work for. This is your circle of influence that you have. And so what I want you to do is think about what your job is every day. My job is to uh, program, be a software developer, run a company, be a husband, be a father, be an entrepreneur, be an artist. These are what I call my job. But what really is my job, and what's really your job, is to inspire. And inspiration is something that is inside all of us. And Hugh McLeod is a cartoonist, an illustrator. He's also an entrepreneur. And he wrote this one, and this one is very, speaks loudly to me. And inspiration is not just something that you give to somebody else. You need to be inspired as well. This is the, the point to where we key the the Lion King circle of life music because it's an inspire be inspired circle. I'm up here tonight to inspire you and you, uh, many of you that I, I know uh, have inspired me and we just keep that process going. The first thing you can do when you get back to your sphere of influence and what we all need to do is mentor. And this is something, I had the privilege yesterday of speaking to the best and the brightest students in Oklahoma. The 140 juniors and seniors that are attracted right now and are attending the Oklahoma School of Science and Mathematics, which is one of the highest rated high schools in the nation, and it's right here in Oklahoma. These students are begging, they are wanting mentors. They look for inspiration in the community. They look for inspiration in business. These are students that want to learn. And these same people grow up and come to work for you and with you, and they need that same mentoring and inspiration that they are getting right now in high school and college, and they're not getting right now when they get out into the real world. We need to mentor. Do you remember back when you were young, when you were first starting out? I can tell you about myself. I look back every five or 10 years and say, gosh, I was an idiot five years ago. I was an idiot 10 years ago. What was I thinking? Uh, I even say that about last week. What in the world was I doing? You have to remember where you started from because that's where you know the things that you need and the things that you need to give to people. And one of the things that you can do to, when you're mentoring those young people and, and mentoring the people you work with uh, is give them things that are empowering. Give them the chance to screw up because that's how they learn. That's how I learned is when I screwed up. That's when uh, uh, Blake Ewing the other day said, uh, the reason why I make such a good entrepreneur is because I see all the things that other people screw up and do wrong. That's why I work for myself because I'm a terrible employee that I see everybody else doing things wrong. You have to give those people empowering things to do. You also have to validate. You can't just give them stuff to do and, and not give them meaning and purpose. Give them a reason for being there. Validate what they're doing. Tell them they're doing a good job. That goes a long way, and we don't do it enough. Make them feel bigger than they are. This is important when a young person's life starting out is that they want to feel big. They come out of university, they come out of high school, they come out of grad school, and they're, in the, they're at the top of the world right now. They just feel fantastic and they get in the workforce and they just get beat down. They're just, their whole world has changed. You need to make them feel big so they still feel empowering give them empowered things to do and make them feel good about themselves. Each one of us has a flame inside of us that keeps us burning. But the thing about the flame is when you put it in a vacuum, 
the flame dies out. And one of the big duh things is that you want these people to be inspired. You want them to be passionate. Don't let them, don't stifle them. They need to be passionate. And the thing about passion is that it doesn't have to be something to do with their jobs. I'm going to give you an excellent example. Some of you may know Steve Jackson. He's a, a businessman and, and philanthropist here in, in Tulsa. Uh, I had the opportunity to work for him for several years. Uh, Steve is a very generous man, and uh, he, he, he runs the company still. Um, I was working for him, and my artistic passion is stained glass. For me, the interaction of light and glass just inspires me to cr want to create stained glass, to want me to go look at stained glass. I shared with Steve that for Christmas, my wife got me stained glass classes so I could uh, progress on my love of stained glass. Uh, he was so excited for me and shared my passion that he insisted on paying for my class that my wife had already bought me for Christmas just because he felt inspired, he felt my passion, and he embraced that passion. And that's a great example of how we can, we can deal with people in our sphere with, our, with the people that work for us and with us. And the thing about that flame is that it is contagious, just like a spark in a forest, just like we've seen in Colorado over the past month, is that those, the, the flames are contagious, the passion's contagious. And that's what we're doing here tonight. Waste no more time talking about great souls and how they should be. Become one yourself. Be the inspiration. Be passionate. And that's the start, is that I'm up here inspiring you so you can go out and inspire others. Once you get that passion, stay passionate. Don't let that flame die out. It can't be a flash in the pan. It can't be, oh, we're going to do great things this week, and then next week you go back to the same normal. Stay passionate. And the most important thing is spread it. Don't just keep it within that small sphere. Do something like a TED Talk. Do something like getting out into the community and share your passion with other groups and organizations. Thank you very much.